The very last day of freedom on earth. <laughs> so this doesn't feel that free because we're nervous as heck. So. <laughs> so. What do you what do you feel? Nerves, excitement. <laughs> All jumbled into one and then repeat. It, it is Sunday at noon and shit's going down tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I woke up 16 times last night and every time I woke up I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get up in like an hour and I'm like, oh, it's tomorrow. How do yeah. you feel? Oh, it's not real for me yet. I, I, I just see someone get, get, get bigger and bigger. That's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's 4.30 a.m. It is the earliest we've been ever, up in ever been awoke. Two out, at least two years. She ready to come out and play? I think she's tight. She's been kicking around all night. I think she's ready to be out. Are you ready for her to be out? <laughs> <laughs> ready? Is it ready? Is it to the wall? Like it's a sour patch kit with a lemon crack. But like lemon sounds lovely compared to this. <laughs> I'm Dr. Kasko, the anesthesiologist. I'm Janet Obite. Okay. Does that mean she's gonna hand them the instruments and surgery? Yes. Yeah. 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 I find it's like let's go. <laughs> I find my phone, right? Yes. <laughs> I think my butt will be exposed. Okay. <laughs> they just took Sylvia to surgery prep, and whenever they're ready to begin, they will come and get me and they said it could be like half an hour for the prep. So I'm just sitting here waiting now in the pre-op room. Uh, scary stuff. We will see you on the other side. <laughs> and now you're just numb? Yeah. yeah. Can you um, take her tilt up just a little, like airplane her a little bit towards me? Uh, yeah. So much fun. It's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. It's like I know my left leg is bent and I want to straighten it out, but it's just hot. I don't know. Okay. Oh, you thought I was going to be like super out of it? I thought you were going to be more out of it. Like, I mean, if they said no, that you were going to be completely lucid, but it just seems insane that you can just like numb no, 50%. I mean, yeah. It's weird. You feel everything. You're just not painful. It's the strangest. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm not trying to cry. <laughs> no, no, this is totally normal, you know. Oh, it's uh, weird. You have a lot to celebrate. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh, look, she looks perfect. Oh, oh my god. god. I know, this is the best feel? Oh, oh, fast. fast. <laughs> you want the toast? No, she looks great. Is it 13? Yes. yes. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. I know. It's like a blonde. Do we want to have babies? Yeah, a blonde. <laughs> blonde. <laughs> but of course, I was fucking blonde. Pilau. <laughs> Hi, Mama. I took a couple minutes, but look at that. Okay. Her butt needs to go back. I'm gonna papoose her. 
We won't know in the colors. Now look at this. Oh my gosh. It did under the light. It, it was yeah. definitely it was reddish. Blonde. Yeah, reddish. Yeah. Reddish blonde. Oh, Hi, Mama. Somebody. Somebody. Back to sleep. Yeah. I'll do this so she stays warm. Okay. It's my birthday. Yeah. How tall is she? I mean, long is she? She's uh, six foot five. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you the know her length, Yermar? Uh, three, 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 Okay, I think we're gonna head out. I'm gonna put her right here, Mark. No, I'm okay too. You're so warm. Hi. You're so warm. Hi. You like that? Oh. Your first hair wash. <laughs> Happy birthday. Daddy, I'm getting all fresh. Look at that thing. <laughs> She's like, what is going on? Oh, here we are. Happy birthday. Hi. Scary Born. stuff. Look how cute she is. Born at 8 o'clock on November 29th, 2021. Eight and a half pounds. Fatty. Eight pounds, five ounces. It is all done. How are you feeling? Are you swollen and ugly? No, no you're not. You are now 12 hours old. No, you're not. You are 10 hours old. Ready to go home? Yes. <laughs> what is it they say? This is the most careful I'll ever drive? Uh. <laughs> are you okay? It's almost time for food. Oh, the sun is in the face. Should we close the... Visor. Everyone meet Amelia. I honestly still can't believe that it's real and that she's here. And as exhausting and sleepless as the first week is, I do feel like every time I look at her, it's just all worth it. All the cliches are true. The, the whole, you know, like it's the most difficult thing you've ever done, but also the most amazing thing. Um, so true. And even like the first night of recovery, like post surgery, um, I was so exhausted because I hadn't slept at all the night before going into surgery. And then of course the whole day because you're like recovering and being seen by, you know, a million doctors and nurses. Um, but that first night, like, the doctors told me that I probably wouldn't be able to, like, pick her up for, like, two weeks. That first night, I got up in the middle of the night, like, to check on her, and it was just like I could just keep staring at her. So, anyway, she was a super big girl. I was not expecting that. I'm five foot three, and was definitely not expecting a big baby, but she was eight pounds and five ounces. Before being wheeled in, Adam asked uh, my OB if she had any estimate on the size of the baby. And she was like, oh, I would say like seven and a half pounds. And um, so yeah, she was like a whole pound up of that. But yeah, going into the C-section, I was just so terrified of, of course, anything being wrong with her and then anything, of course, going wrong with me. So I would say the worst part is just getting that spinal and feeling your body go numb it, like within seconds. Like that's a weird feeling and I don't care how many C-sections you know someone has, I don't think that ever gets to feel normal. But that's like literally five minutes and from then, then your spouse comes in and um, I, I don't know if it was because that was distracting me but I feel like within 10 minutes she was out and the second the doctor said we're gonna have baby girl here in 
in a minute. She said that and she was crying. So um, I, of course, started bawling my eyes out because, you know, you can't see her right away, but just to hear her. Um, You're so special, huh? Were you so anxious to meet mom and dad? And baby girl is falling asleep. So yeah, these are all the updates we have for now. Thank you for joining us on this. Oh, you decided to say hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go night night. But yeah, thank you guys for joining us on this super exciting and next chapter. And thank you so much for watching our birth vlog. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.